This video shows you how to set up a new security certificate from Sectigo and how to get it issued faster. There are three sections in this video. The first section demonstrates how to submit your certificate signing request, or CSR, and select your domain control validation, or DCV method, both of which are required for all SSL certificates. The second section provides an overview of the validation process after you have configured your CSR and DCV and what must occur before your certificate can be issued. And the third section shows you how to check the status of your SSL certificate, to learn what remains to be done before it can be issued, and to see if there's anything you can do to make this happen faster. If you are waiting for a certificate to be issued, you should always start by checking the status of your order online. If you aren't already there, start by logging in to your admin account, which you can get to in one of two ways. Open your purchase confirmation email and click the link, then log in, or simply log in from the Sectigo website. If you're on the website, click Log In, then select Customers. Enter your credentials, and then click Log In. The home page of your admin account lists your contact information the number of active services or certificates you currently own, and the number of unpaid invoices on your account. Under Your Active Products Services, click View All. Here you can see the certificate purchased during our How to Purchase a Security Certificate video. And if you had others, you would see them listed here in rows as well. Click the row for the certificate you want to work with. On the Manage tab, click Set up Sectigo SSL Certificate. The first step is to submit a valid Certificate Signing Request, or CSR. Under Server Information, in the CSR field, paste the CSR generated by the web server where the SSL certificate will be installed. The CSR is required because it supplies critical information about your domain and the server on which SSL will function. If your domain is hosted by a third party, please contact your hosting provider to get a CSR, as they are the only ones who can provide it. If you host your own domain, you must generate your own CSR. How to generate your CSR depends on your web server software. If you host your own domain and need more information, check out our knowledge base. Here's the quickest way to find CSR information on our knowledge base. From the Support menu, select FAQ to open our Knowledge Base page of Frequently Asked Questions. From the CSR Generation section, you can navigate to articles about how to generate CSRs for different server types. Now let's return to the setup process. Review and update, if required, the administrative contact information. This section should identify the person you want Sectigo to consider the primary contact for the certificate. Click the button at the bottom to continue. The next step is to select a method for Domain Control Validation, or DCV, from the options listed. In this example, we'll select the option to have a validation code sent by email to the generic admin email address for the domain. Other DCV methods include creating a DNS CNAME record on the server where the domain resides, or you can create a file on the domain's HTTP, HTTPS server. The CNAME CSR hash and the HTTP CSR hash options require you to use the hash values displayed on screen, so be sure to copy them if you'll be using one of these methods. For more information about these methods, open the Knowledge Base FAQ and review our DCV articles about how to get your certificate issued. When you're ready, click the button at the bottom of the page to continue. When you use email as your DCV method, as we did in this demonstration, a confirmation message now appears, indicating that an email has been sent to the email address you selected. You must log into that account and click the link provided to validate your ownership of the account. For some certificate types, you may need to provide further documentation to validate the certificate before it can be issued. If you are working with a Domain Validation or DV certificate, then your certificate will be issued automatically, as soon as you have provided a valid CSR and DCV has been completed. 
If you are working with an organization or OV, or an extended validation or EV certificate, providing the CSR and DCV initiates the formal validation of your business. You'll find more information in our Knowledge Base FAQ, which you can open from our support page as demonstrated earlier in this video. The formal validation process for OV and EV certificates usually takes one or two business days to complete and includes the verification of your registered business phone number as well as the validation of your organization. For OV and EV certificates, your registered business phone number will first be verified through a qualified third-party database. That phone number will then receive either an automatic or manual call to verify the information you entered about your organization. Whoever normally answers your main business line should expect the call. For EV certificates only, your registered business phone number will also receive an in-person call to verify the certificate requester, approver, and signer. When this validation process is complete, the certificate will be issued without any further action on your part, and you will receive a confirmation email. The term you purchased for the certificate begins as soon as it is issued. Log into your Sectigo account to check the status of SSL certificate orders at any time. From the home page, click the name of the certificate or click View All to see more certificate details. Then click the name of the certificate you want to work with. The Manage tab highlights where this certificate is held up. There is an issue with the DCV in this example. Briefly, if you are confident the validation email address you selected will now work, or you are sure you've configured your hash-dependent DCV method correctly, you can click this button to resend the email or have the system recheck your hash setup. But let's look at what to do if you need more information about what's going on with your certificate. From the Actions menu on the left, click Status of your order. Here you can see the certificate is currently being processed. The CSR submission has been completed successfully. But in the DCV row, you can see action is required because the most recent attempt at domain control validation has not been completed. This might mean, for example, that if you selected email as your DCV method, no one has opened the validation email from Sectigo and clicked the unique validation link yet. Or if you chose a hash-dependent validation method, there may be errors in the way it has been configured. Click Complete in the DCV row to review your options. Here you can see Email Sent, confirmation that the validation email was sent to the email shown below. If you now know the selected DCV method will not work, you can choose a new DCV method, an entirely different method, or just a different email that you have confirmed you can access. If you choose a hash-dependent method, the hash codes are provided here. When you are done, click Save Changes or click Cancel to exit without changes. If you selected an email option, Sectigo will send the validation email to the address you selected right away. If you selected a hash method, you can now configure it, then come back to the Certificates Manage tab when you're ready and click the Resend Recheck button, which you saw earlier in this demonstration. Presumably, the DCV now gets completed successfully, and the validation process will move on to the next step. If this were a domain validation or a DV certificate, it would not require a callback, and the organization validation step is completed simultaneously with the DCV step. This means, for a DV certificate, that as soon as the DCV is completed, the certificate will be issued. Validation for OV and EV certificates, however, require a phone call to your registered business phone number. For these certificates, you can check the callback status here and request that the callback email be resent if required. Once that's done, and your organization can be fully validated, the EV or OV certificate will be issued. Remember, if you want to know what's going on with a certificate you've ordered, always start by checking the status of your order online. Use this part of the customer portal to find out how the validation process is progressing and if any action is required to accelerate the issuance of your SSL certificate. If you need help with validation, check our knowledge base for more information or go to the Sectigo ticketing system page on our website and create a support ticket. 
When you choose a reason for the ticket, choose validation if you need help with DV or OV certificate validation issues, and EV validation if you need help with EV certificate validation issues. Choose certificate technical support if your certificate issue is not related to validation. Choosing the right reason and entering your order number will help us resolve your issue faster.